I, I, let's have a little, if you don't mind, sort of a little doctor's visit here. All right. Let's take the, let's take the coat off. Yeah, okay, let me help you here. Okay. Now, your mic is coming off with this, so I'm going to have to actually hold a mic up. Okay. Uh, you're all hooked in. And the shirt, you don't have to take your shirt all the way off if you don't want to, but I... The, all right. I don't know how we're going to get around. All right, so go ahead. All right, so let's go. You're obviously very timid about so this. Shy. Yes, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you live in L.A., you've never seen these before. No, I've seen people with their shirts <laughs> off. So, so here we go. So this is all... This is all silicone here. The silicone uh, solid implants, correct. And this, this. And we have biceps. All right, hang on a second. Solids in here. So this is not even in the muscle. It's on top of the muscle, isn't it? It's uh, under the fascia. Right. The but arms are subfascial. And these are actually under the, inside the active muscle. So this the is. The biceps are just right, this is, Okay, this is slung into the muscle, right? Right, correct. And now this, these, I must tell you, can, uh, can. <laughs> can the, these things feel bizarre. The triceps, no. yeah, they do, uh, and they make me worry that they would migrate. I mean, how do they hold them in place? There's a pocket that's cut, so there there hasn't been any movement. There won't okay, be any let, movement. Let me, since let we've me been show. Healed. Let me show this part. Where, where's the camera? Is it this camera? This, yeah, this this is the other sort of sits on top here, and uh, but they're I, under the skin. It's, it's I under get the it. I, I mean, this actually looks remarkably lean. good, and and I, but it, again, I worry. You know, when you're 75 years old, where are these things going to be? Exactly where we put them. I, I hope you're right. Okay, put your shirt back <laughs> on. Let, let's let's okay. give you a chance there to get it back together again. Um, Michelle Golland, you're out there uh, listening to our conversation yes. with uh, Justin. Uh, do you have concerns about what's going on with him? We're helping him put his clothes back on here. He's he's. Uh, I, well, I'm just just for the for the <laughs> record. Um, I I worry. I mean, Justin seems very cool with all of that everything he's done he's very committed to and by the way what is this is this a, a like a career objective is there something you're going to do with all this going to be a I do do a, a, a referral and consultation service and you're, you're, where I can help other people to be able to modify themselves the same as I have sit down. Choose. Sit, I, I this I got to hear more about yeah you, you want to be a I am a consultant for other people using plastic surgery I've done it for years for free with my friends and now I'm just going to be able to offer it to the public are you you're are you a gay man I am. It, do you, I, I don't mean to. I mean, uh, if you don't <laughs> want to talk about it, I understand that. But my question is, do the guys like this? Or guy, is it something that you find you're, you know, I think that's more based on my personality. Or do, you, or do you have a boyfriend? Are you monogamous? I mean, is it I, something? I have. I have a partner. Your partner, and is he? And is he? He likes this. He thinks this is great. He he's completely supportive of is, it. Does yeah. he do a lot of this stuff too? No, not a lot. But he's not opposed to it. If if one day he feels like he needs to, he he would. Okay, Michelle. Let, let's yeah. go back out to you. So so Michelle, are are you concerned? Now here's obviously the easy concern is that there's a body dysmorphia problem underlying right. this, and the surgeons are reinforcing that rather than asking him to get some help for that. Absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, I think there is that concern, and I have to say, I saw I saw you in the in the green room, and and I. I could really feel for you. I mean, I know you were concerned about which side you were going to sit on and how that was going to appear. And so I, I don't even know if it's just about the body dysmorphic disorder, but I think it's about a real preoccupation uh, for what I would call approval. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. 32. Is, is this, Michelle, a bigger problem with our young folks in this society? That they, they, The only way they can drive meaning is if they look perfect? Well, I think it's a. I think there's some generational things going on, Dr. Drew. But but my concern, <laughs> honestly, is is really just how it is for him. It, does this? How much of a barrier is this emotionally for you? I don't think that it has to do anything with. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I don't think that no. it has to do anything with looking perfect. Um, I, there, this isn't. An, I'm not looking for an end result. There's not an end goal. Well, you can just for, keep going forever. You've had 90 surgeries already. How many more are you gonna? Sure. Have? It, for me. Sure. It, for me, it's my art form. Your I'm, art form. It is. It's 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 a way for me to be creative and and to work in tandem with the doctor to try to create something. I mean, my journey with modification has progressed where it's it's no longer a, a need. So well, th this is this is just purely. Do you get high off the painkillers that they give you? No, that's why well, a lot actually, of people. Actually, Dr. Drew, I, I, Michelle, I, go ahead. I I, I want to say that I I don't think it is about getting high off the painkillers. I think it's about getting sort of this. It reminds me a lot of the individuals who have a, an addiction to uh, extreme sports. You know, it no longer is enough for them to just go down the black diamond. But we diamond. live in an addictive society. I mean, how many people could turn off their cell phones for an hour and not I be know, craving to go back and see what their text messages were? I know, but that doesn't mean that it's a healthy lifestyle. Let's or say it doesn't call, mean Michelle. that it allows you to, to relate. Now